Welcome to the Students Rebuild Healing Classroom webcast. I'm Ahmed Chabuddin. I'm a reporter with Vice, and we're here with the Global, Global Nomads Group in New York. As many of you may know, the war in Syria has been raging on for more than five years now, and over four and a half million Syrians have been forced to escape their homes and leave Syria, and half of the population of Syria has been displaced. That makes the Syrian conflict the UN Refugee Agency's worst crisis uh, in over a quarter of a century. So for the past nine months, students around the world have been committed to the Students Rebuild Housing Classrooms Challenge. Now, young people have been making pinwheels, uh, again, all around the wor world, that are going to be matched with a donation to the International Rescue Committee's Healing Classrooms Program. The Healing Classrooms Program provides safe and nurturing learning spaces, not just for the individuals, but for those whose lives have been most directly affected by the crisis. So the hope is that they're able to start to build a future, not only for themselves, but for their communities. So for the next 40 minutes, we have an opportunity to bring together Syrian youth who are going to be participating in the Healing Classroom Challenge and the program with young people from New Jersey. Uh, they're taking the challenge as well. That means that students are going to be learning firsthand from young people whose lives have been deeply impacted on a daily basis by the Syrian refugee crisis and the war. Together, they're going to explore how education opportunities uh, can not only empower us to shape our own lives and our own future, but collectively can have that same power. And uh, just want to let you know, please keep in mind that this broadcast is going to be translated, so uh, there's going to be some small natural pauses. And for our live sites, remember to keep your microphones muted when you're not speaking. So let's head over to Lebanon, where we can have perhaps Abiyah say hello and introduce us to our friends in Lebanon. Okay, دعونا نذهب إلى لبنان حيث في البداية ستقوم عبير ومحمد بالترحيب والتعريف عن مجموعاتهم في لبنان وسنتبعها بأورا من نيوجيرسي. تفضل يا عبير. عرفينا عن حالك وين مرحبا أنا اسمي عبير ساكن في مجد العنجر عنجر جئت مع معلمتي أمينة وأماني ساكن في سوريا جينا في زحلة عمري 11 سنة شكرا أما محمد مرحبا أنا اسمي محمد محمد سمي سمان عمري 13 سنة بالصف السادس جاء من مدرسة أحمد جميل على مكتب هون على مكتب آي آر سي مكتب آي آر سي أنا جاي هلأ أنا وزميلة آي الحلاق والمسختام so, uh, hi, my name is Abir. I am coming from Majd al Anjar area. I came with uh, Amina, and uh, who's my friend, and Amani, who's my, Ama, Amina, who's my teacher, and Amani, who's my friend. Uh, I am 11 years old. Uh, hi, my name is Muhammad. I'm 13 years old. I came from Ahmad Jamil School. Right now, we are in IRC office in Zahle. Thank you. And now let's let's go to New Jersey, uh, where Aura, perhaps you could start us off. Hi, my name's Aura, and this is Hannah, Oreja, and Ernest, and Mrs. Broomhead. And right now we are in our middle school, uh, which is in Apsika, New Jersey, which is a small town that no one really knows about. But <laughs> we're really excited to get to know you guys and to know that this all started with. Mrs. Broomhead introducing the pinwheel challenge to now um, is a really um, awesome thing. Um, مرحبا أنا أورا وفي معاي هانا وأريحة وأرنست ومس بوم بروم هاد إحنا حاليا في نيو جيرسي في مدرسة في المدرسة وإحنا كتير متحمسين عشان نلتقي معاكم اليوم وعشان ال ال challenge اللي هو التحدي الدوالي بالهوائية شكرا
Hannah Betke, bedenk te stellen. Uh, Hannah, would you like to ask a question, uh, perhaps, to uh, your friends in Lebanon? Okay. Um, hi, my name is Hannah, and you know, every day I I come to school and I have my subjects like language arts, math, and science. I would like to know what in every what do you do each day when you go to school? Thank you. مرحبا انا اورا انا كل يوم باجي على المدرسة بدرس رياضيات وعلوم وبشارك بالصفوف في المدرسة عندي سؤال لكم انه شو بتعملوا كل يوم في المدرسة اماني مرحبا انا اسمي اماني عمري 11 سنة اذهب الى اذهب الى المدرسة اقرا انجليزي وعربي تصير الساعة 11 نطلع إلى الفرصة نأكل ونقصر يدينا نشرب ماء نلعب, نلعب قليلا مع أصدقائنا نف نف نفوت إلى الصف إلى الصف <تصفيق> نأخذ عربي ورياضيات وبعدها نخرج إلى الب... نروح إلى البيت Hi, my name is Amani. I go every day to school. We go to read and write Arabic and English. Um, at 11, we have a break. So we go to wash our hands and then we go to play for some time. Then we go back to school where we uh, have, uh, where we do Arabic and mathematic classes. Thank you. Muhammad, how do you want to share شو بتلعب بعد المدرسة؟ مرحبا أنا محمد بعد المدرسة بلعب فوتبول وبتفرج شوي على التلفزيون وأنتوا شو بتساووا بعد المدرسة؟ شو الألعاب اللي بتحبوا تلعبوها؟ So uh, hi, my name is Muhammad. Uh, after school, I go to play football and I watch TV. So I have a question for you. What do you do after you go back from school? Thank you. Hi, my name is Ernest, and right after school, I usually go outside and play basketball and football, like practicing and trying to get better. Thank you. Um, hi, my name is Oreja, and I don't play a lot of games after school. I do draw, and I do read books, and a couple of months ago, I was in chorus and drama club. Thank you. مرحبا أنا اسمي إرنست أنا بعد المدرسة بحب إني بروح بلعب برا بروح بلعب في فوتبول اللي هو الكرة القدم واللي هي كرة السلة وفي كمان أريحة أريحة بتقول إنها بتحب إنها ترسم تروح ترسم بعد المدرسة وتقرأ كتب Thank you just for all of you, quick note, who are watching at home uh, or at school, uh, just please remember that you have an opportunity to ask questions in real time in the Google Hangout. On the right, you'll see the Q&A box. Uh, so be sure to tell us your name if you have a question, where you are watching from, and what your question is. Now we're going to لجميع مشاهدينا عبر الانترنت من بيوتكم أو مدارسكم أرجاء التعريف عن أنفسكم في المساحة المخصصة لذلك في الجوجل هانج أوت تأكدوا من التعريف عن أسماءكم وعن أنفسكم ومن أي مكان في العالم تشاهدونا شكرا So one thing that I've learned uh, working as a journalist, especially on this story, is that we often hear a lot about what's happening in Syria, what's happening in the region, but we don't hear from the people themselves uh, who are directly affected by this, which is why I think it's great that we have this opportunity to correct, connect directly with the youth from Syria who are in Lebanon and find out firsthand what is happening to them. So Hannah, uh, in New Jersey, perhaps you want to start us off with a question? about uh, their daily lives. Okay. Um, hi, my name is Hannah, and I have moved in the past away from my home that I grew up in, and it, I have learned to get used to it, so, and I do know what it's like to be separated from one family member, so I would like to know what it was like for you to leave your home in Syria. Thank you. 
سو نسمع في اغلب الاحيان عن اللاجئين والوضع السوري في الاخبار ولكن لم تتاح لنا الفرصه للتحدث مباشره مع الشباب والشابات السوريين المتاثرين بالنزاع في سوريا فكي كان سؤال من هانا لكم بتقول انه هي لما كان عمرها خمس سنين هي طلعت من بيتها وبتعرف شو يعني انه كان صعب لها انه تطلع من بيتها وتروح على مكان جديد وهي بتفتقده فسؤال هانا لكم كيف انتم شعرتوا لما تركتوا بلدكم ومنزلكم وخرجتوا من سوريا كيف كنت تشعري كنا كنا قاعدين قدام حوش البيت قدام المدرسة عم نلعب كنا نلعب وانا رفقاتي فاطمة وفاطمة وأماني كتير كتير بنلعب بحبهم كتير ولما نفوت على الصف نكتب لنا الملاقات سوا كمان قديش بنحب بعضنا وإذا كل ما بتعرف أنا بعلمها إياها فلينا فلينا ان بكره بنلتقي في المدرسه اجت بعدنا فلينا وصرنا بعيدين كثير اجت الطياره قصفت المدرسه ضل صفنا ما انغصف لسه بس الغصن الثاني انغصفنا يعني نهدوا الشبابيك ضل كل وحده راحت على بيتها ان بكره بنتلاقى وبنشترك سوا ده بنسوي حفله للمعلمه بكره جينا على البيت أهلي لقيتن أهلي لقيتن عند بيت عمي رحنا على بيت عمي ضلينا هنيك مسوين غدا تقدينا عندن إذا جينا على البيت أمن البيت مغصوف قال أبي بكرة بدنا نروح على لبنان إنا لي أبي ما بدنا نروح لا عن هنيك رفقاتنا اللي بنحبن ورفقاتنا اللي بنحبن موت وكتير وجدودنا وحبابتنا ورفقاتنا وعمامنا ما في شيء هنيك ما بنحبه بطرحنا اللي بلع فيه وأنا بنات عمي وعز رفقاتي هلا راح ما عاد لا ضل مطرح كثير حزنت عليهم بكيت بكيت كثير يا ريت هلا بيرجعوا وبترجع مدرستنا اللي بنحبها شكرا شكرا حبيبي شكرا جدا So uh, Abir was saying that uh, when I we were playing uh, at school and in our house, I had two best friends called Fatima and Amina. I love them so much, and we used to practice spelling at the school at our school. Uh, we at uh, one of the days we just uh, went out and we said to each other we will see each other tomorrow. Then a, an airstrike came to our school and just bombed it out. I, we went home, and when we went home, I did not find my family members. They were at uh, my cousin uh, home. So uh, we went to our house. It was also bumped. So uh, and my father just said we need to go to Lebanon. Lebanon uh, and I was saying no, we should. Uh, we, I want to stay here. He said no, we need to leave. Our ho house is already bumped. So I feel so sad. I cried at that time, and I am sad now. Thank you. Ahmed. Muhammad. Muhammad. Can also answer this question. Muhammad, do you have any answer to this question? We are the Syrian people. نحن أطفال السوريين من أول ما خرجنا من بيوتنا طلعنا على لبنان هاجرنا على لبنان حقوق الطفل كلها تراحت ما عاد فيك تضل عن حقوق حقوق الطفل وأطفال السوريين كلها كان هلا كانوا زمان حتى الكبار كانوا ما يعرفوا سيرة الموت هلا أي ولد صار صار يتمنى الموت بأي لحظة وشكرا سؤال حقوق الطفل عندكم عندكم تكاملين ولا لا؟ شكرا. عفوا. So uh, Muhammad, when I left Syria, I lost my rights as a child. I never knew that we before the crisis and the conflict, we never knew that there is killing and all these bad things in life. But when we leave, we right now we lost all our child uh, rights as a child. So uh, Muhammad is asking, do you have your right as a child in the U.S.? Thank you. Um, hi, my name is Oreha, and in the U.S. I do have my rights as a child. I have my rights to a free education, I have rights to medical care so I'll be healthy, and I have rights to live in a safe environment. Thank you. Marhaba, I'm Ariha. 
انا هون في امريكا في عندنا حقوق للاطفال وفي عندنا انا بتمتع برضه في عندنا تعليم مجاني وكمان في عندنا بالنسبه للصحه احنا مغطيين بالصحه وفي حال في عندنا امراض شكرا so obviously a lot of us uh, with the absence of these kinds of opportunities rely on social media and the news to get an understanding of what life is like for other people in this case for Syrian refugees i'm curious um, for our U.S. students, uh, do you guys feel as though what you're learning, what you're hearing today is different than what you hear in social media or on the news about the crisis? Hi. My okay. name is so, so let me just uh, translate. Um, وي اليوم هلا اللي بحاكي باحمد بقول اليوم احنا قاعدين عمالنا من بنسمع من السوريين والشباب السوريين مباشره فالسؤال انه هل انتم اللي بتسمعوه كنتوا تسمعوه في الاخبار وما زلتم تسمعوه بيختلف عن الروايات اللي سمعتوها حاليا من الشباب السوريين مباشره ثانك يو شكرا هاي ماي نيم از ارنست اند اي ثينك توداي لايك what we're learning in class is different when we're seeing on the news because like we'll be learning classes like bigger events than the news because on the news they put like they like don't talk about like the whole the whole idea of what's happening today thank you okay marhaba ana ismi ernest اللي سمعته هلا منكم كشباب سوريين بيختلف عن اللي بسمعه في الاخبار مرات الاخبار بتحكي بشكل عام وما بتوصل فكره مباشره زي ما انتم قاعد عمالكم تحكوها الان ثانك يو شكرا so maybe you uh, in the in new jersey does anyone have any other questions for our friends in, in lebanon um. Hi, my name is Oreha, and I go to school every day, and I know where my family is. I know that they're safe. And I see in the news about attacks and violence in Syria, and know that many Syrians who have left their country still have family there. What emotions, or how do you feel about this? Thank you. مرحبا, أنا اسمي أريحة. احنا اليوم كثير بنشوف بالاخبار النزاعات والمشاكل والعنف اللي بيصير في سوريا وبعرف انه كثير من السوريين خرجوا من الشعب السوري خرجوا من بلادهم تركوا بلادهم لكن في جزء من عائلاتهم بقي في سوريا فكيف انتم بتشعروا بهذا الاتجاه شو شعوركم بهذا الاتجاه شعور بهذا الاتجاه انه عم حزنت كثير وفي عالم انه بسوريا في مصالح كثير ما فيها لا اكل ولا طعام يعني الطعام ما في ابدا ولا ملابس عم يموتوا جوع شكرا ايا ماي نيم از ايا for um, I am so sad of what's happening. Uh, there are a lot of Syrians who are residing and our families in Syria who are residing without uh, enough food or water or even uh, uh, clothes to wear. So I am so sad for that. Thank you. And so Aya is asking a question uh, for the U.S. Uh, students. Uh, do you live in a safe community? Are there any conflicts happening where you live? Thank you. Hi, my name's Aura, and I don't think that there are conflicts big enough to drive families out of their homes, but I do think that discrimination is still a big issue in our country, even though we are known as the melting pot of the world where everyone's equal and everyone has freedom, it's still a big issue whether it's your religion, race, or gender. I think that is, if anything, our biggest issue. Thank you. مرحبا 
انا واورا في مجتمعهم تقريبا ما في انه خلافات ضخمه بتؤدي انه لهم انهم يطلعوا من بيوتهم ومن مكان سكنهم ولكن هناك في تفرقه يوجد تفرقه وهي التفرقه ومع انه انهم هم دوله متقدمه ولكن انهم في عندهم مساواه ولكن هي لسه تعتقد انه هناك مشاكل في كمان الدين وفي العرق وفي المساواه بين الذكر والانثى في مجتمعها Thank you. Shukran. So, as you know, we have a live audience watching with us, and they're asking some great questions. So I just want to go to one of those questions now, coming from Oak Brook Prep in South Carolina. This is for uh, our Syrian friends. They want to know, what is the biggest difference between school in Syria and school in Lebanon? OK. في سؤال من ساوث كارولاينا من مدينة في أمريكا إيش أكبر فرق ما بين المدرسة اللي كنتوا تروحوا عليها في سوريا والمدرسة اللي أنتوا هلا بتروحوا عليها في لبنان هلا لما كنا في سوريا كانوا ما يعطونا كتير لغة إنجليزية لما طلعنا على لبنان صرنا أكثر شيء نأخذ لغة إنجليزية وتعلمنا اللغة الإنجليزية شكرا شكرا so, yeah. لمن بسوريا بسوريا ما ينطون إنجليزي فردناب ما ينطون إلا حسنا غير غير رياضيات وعرب ما ينطون هنا تحسننا أكثر وبلش لبني مستقبلنا هنا هنا نطون نطون جغرافيا نطون أي كل أي مادة نطون يعني هناك يعني مادات بالحال ما ينطون شيء هنا مدرسة فهمنا عليها كثير شكرا so, uh, um, hi, my name is Aya. Uh, one of the biggest difference that I uh, had is that in Syria, we did not take English classes. So when we came to Lebanon, we have English classes that we take at school. And Abir, uh, also, uh, I'm in Syria, we only had two English language classes. Right now, my English language has uh, gone better. And I, this is very important for me to build my future. And I also, I am taking uh, multiple subjects at school. So that's great. Thank you. So, Abir, because your English is getting better, I want to ask you in English a question about what you think, um, maybe some ways or some um, advice you can give to your friends here in America about how education can help prepare you for your future and contribute to your community. What's that? Is that even easy? إنه التعليم شو بيساعدك؟ يلا. Um, التعليم يساعدني. I write, I play, I sing, I, I run. يا الله. وإيش كمان؟ على المادة إنجليزي، إنجليش، ماث، عربيك. في المستقبل أن أصبح مهندسة، أتمنى أن أصبح مهندسة. وأصاب وأصبح كبيرة وأصنع بيوتا جديدة يعني شكرا شو بساعدك هذا في المجتمع تبع في المجتمع اللي أنت عايشة فيه عبير التعليم كيف بساعدك في المجتمع <تصفيق> المجتمع يساعدنا كثير لما بالمستقبل أكبر وصير كبيرة بساعد أخواتي اللي صغار وبعلمهم إذا كلمة إذا صار في الصف الأول إذا كلمة ما بيعرفوها حرف ما بيعرفوا بعلمني إياه أنا بحب أخواتي كثير وبقول الجيران أنا بحب أكلمنا بصير أكبر بعمر بعمر حجر جدران شيء بصمم شيء جديد أما جيلي بيجي يعني بقول له شدوا حيلكم ولما بتكبر بصيروا بتناود إذا حرف إذا كلمة ما بيعرفوا بيعلموني إياها أو أو كلمات شكرا. أوكي شكرا أبير. So um, the education uh, helps my community. Uh, it helps us to build the uh, future. I help. Uh, I help my uh, my uh, my do my brother and sisters and. Um, if they don't know any word and I, I know how to read and write in English, that will that I will be the one who's responsible to teach them. And I'm I'm dreaming to be a, a to be an architect so that I can build homes and design them. And I'm saying that for the new generation that they should be all united so that they can build their community. Thank you.
Ernest, you can go right to your question. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Ernest, and I want to, like, when I grow up, I want to go to college to be a mechanic. I want to know what do you want to do when you grow up, <clears throat> and how do you think that, like, education ties in or helps you accomplish your dreams? مرحبا انا انا ارنست من امريكا بدي انا لما اكبر بدي اصير ميكانيكي اشتغل في في الميكانيك فبدي اسال لما تكبر ايش حابب تصير لما تكبر وكيف انه التعليم بتحس راح يكون يساعدك على تحقيق حلمك مرحبا انا اسمي محمد ايه بكره بس اكبر بالمستقبل بحب بحب انه اكون شخص مهم كمخترع والدراسه هي اللي بتخليني اسوي هالشيء مثلا ممكن كل ماده العلوم هي اللي بتخليني استكشف وهي اللي بتخليني اتاقلم اي شيء بالحياه وهي اللي بتساعدني على كل شيء واللي بتعلمني الاختراعات شكرا Muhammad. So, I'm Muhammad. Hi, my name is Muhammad. I wa when I grow up, I want to be someone who's important as an inventor. My study uh, in in, sci in sciences helped me to do that. It lets me explore new things and just build a strong uh, knowledge in that area. Thank you. That's fantastic, Muhammad. Uh, why don't we go to Ms. Broomfield in New Jersey? Let's hear from you. Ms. Broomhead, sorry, not field. <laughs> That's okay. Um, hi, I'm Mrs. Broomhead. I'm the art teacher here in the Athletes School. Um, probably the most influential people in my life were my teachers when I think back. Um, and that's really what led me to want to become a teacher um, and be able to impact and influence my students. So I'm curious to know, um, for the teachers in the room, um, what led you to dedicate your time to this effort especially? Um, and providing safe spaces for your students to learn and grow. Thank you. مرحبا انا اسمي انس بروهد انا هلا حاليا مدرسه في مدرسه في نيوجيرسي انا كنت في ناس اثروا في حتى يخلوني انا اصير معلمه وانا هلا حاليا معلمه وعندي سؤال لكم كيف وليش بتخصصوا وقتكم لتامين بيئه تعليميه امنه للطلاب مرحبا أنا مس ختام من مدرسة أحمد جميل أستطيع القول أن المعلمة لها دور فعال في خلق بيئة آمنة وإيجابية للطالب وذلك من خلال التعاطف مع الطلاب من خلال عدم التمييز بين الطلاب تحفيز الطالب خلق جو من الأمن والسلامة والبهجة والسرور في الصف عندها يشعر الطالب بأنه يزداد عنده التحصيل العلمي تزداد ثقته بنفسه يصبح يرغب أو عنده رغبة للمجيء إلى المدرسة شكرا Uh, hi, my name is Hitam. I'm a teacher at the Jamil School. I believe that the teacher has an effective role. It seems we're having a little bit of an audio issue with your microphone. Uh, so I don't know, maybe if we can swap it out um, before you're able to, to translate what we heard from, um, from Amit. Can you, can you hear me? Okay. Yes, yes, I can, I can hear. So I will be out now. So hi, so, hi. My, my name is, is Mr. Itam. I believe that the teacher has a role in the school to provide a safe environment for the teachers and the students. Through the end of the plan, I am teaching them that do not discriminate between each other and to create a cheerful atmosphere for them so that the students can feel confident and confident and they will be. School, school. And they will also have the, 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 the will to come. I'm sorry to interrupt you again. Just because we're having audio issues, it's very difficult to hear you. We're going to go over to New Jersey, uh, and then we'll come right back to that question and, and continue that question. But in the meantime, Ms. Uh, Ms. Broomhead, maybe you could uh, speak 
a little bit about how the Healing Classroom uh, program has actually impacted the program. Um, with the Healing Classrooms program, we, for our pinwheel event, made it a school-wide event. So we had, between the students, um, teachers, parents that were able to join us, we had approximately 400 participants. Um, and I think, in general, it, it allowed all of us to become a little bit more empathetic um, of the situation, and especially how it affected students that were the same ages as the students that were in our building. Um, and I think it also gave, you know, all of our students the opportunity to realize that everyone has a different educational experience, um, but there are also many similarities, um, and the goals that they have are very similar. Um, like, for example, Hannah has told me that she wants to become an architect, and, you know, there are children right here that want to be architects as well. So um, it's just one thing to appreciate that, you know, their education is key to that and that their path to that might be completely different, but they have the same goals. Obviously that's one of, and obviously that's one of many lessons uh, that we're all learning. And so I just would want to go back to you, Ariha and Hannah. Maybe you could talk to us about what you've learned um, from your Syrian friends or the refugee crisis through participating in this challenge, this classroom. All right. Hi, my name is Hannah, and I think that the um, refugee crisis, what I've learned about it from, you know, my Syrian peers, um, I've learned much about, like, where, how, how they're living now compared to where the, how they did before, and, you know, like, what they have to go through and how their life has changed. Thank you. Um, hi, my name is Oreja, and I have learned um, that there's these two wonderful teachers and that they're teaching these Syrian peers education, and I'm really grateful for that. And also, like when I think about my life, it's when I have bad days, they're having worse, worse days. Worse days. <laughs> worse days. Um, more difficult days. Yeah, more difficult days. And um, they're in a very tough situation. Thank you. So, Muhammad, I just want to let you know we have many questions coming in from the audience, but maybe you can try now with the microphone to, to uh, translate that question, and we'll get back to Abir and, and the answers. So, uh, you have we have many questions coming in, and just so that we can hear you better, if you could put the microphone closer to your your uh, your mouth. Uh, in the meantime, I just want to share with you a couple quick messages. Dakota Hills Middle School in Minnesota wants Abir to know that they've learned so much from you and that one student has used your story in her speech and that they really wish you all the best. Um, we also have a question from Isha in Illinois who wants to know what is the biggest change you've experienced since you moved from your home in Syria? Maybe uh, you have someone could answer that that question for us. تعليم تعليم جيد جغرافيا كلها تشرح عن 
كان سعيدا وما يفهم الفاعل أما أما الإنجليزي على طول الدرس ما الدرس على الإنجليزي إلا نحفظ أحفظه إذا الصف ما بيكفي ما بيكفي الصف روح على البيت أحفظه الصف والله ما بيكفي وروح على البيت ندرس شوي ونروح نلعب ونفضل نعاون ماما شفاء So the, the biggest change that I had is the education. The education in Syria was not that good, but when I came to Lebanon, again I learned English as a, a new language, and also uh, I have my teacher because she teaches us very well. And uh, also one of the changes in Lebanon is the scenery, is the nature scenery. We have a beautiful nature scenery. In uh, Syria, but also here in Lebanon, it's beautiful. Thank you. So, uh, thanks for that answer, um, Abir. I want to uh, give you all an opportunity maybe to wrap up now because obviously we've learned quite a bit um, the past uh, 30 minutes or so about the impact that the Syrian refugee crisis actually has, but also as importantly about the power of education in terms of how it can shape our future. So for those of you watching, we encourage you to learn more about the refugee crisis, um, more about how Syrians uh, are living in Lebanon and in other countries like Turkey and around the world, uh, and also take part in the Students Rebuild Healing Classrooms Challenge, where uh, your pinwheel will raise funds to contribute to the International Rescue Committee's Healing Classrooms programs, both in Lebanon and Iraq. Uh, perhaps we can start uh, in New Jersey. Aura, maybe you want to lead us off with some final final words. Okay. Um, this was such an amazing experience, I think, for everyone. Uh, to know that, you know, to do this is really something that not everyone gets to do. And I really wanted to end it and wrap it up with saying that I didn't think that you guys were going to be providing education. And when I did, I was very surprised in a good way, and it made me very glad. And I just wanted to tell you that to not take that for granted, because education is power, not just knowing what's two plus two, but knowing how to handle situations that life brings you, such as this, and what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And I want you to never lose hope and always approach situations with a positive mindset, because things will always get better. And you know, you become what you think, and your attitude creates your life. So thank you. And it was such an amazing experience. Well, uh, Ura كانت تحكي كلمة كتابية تبعتها، والكلمة الكتابية هي إنه إحنا إنكارنا إنه فرصة مش موجودة للكل، فهي فرصة كتير رائعة إن هي اجتمعت معاكم وشاركتكم اليوم. إحدى الأمور اللي هي كثير مبسوطة عليها أنكم أنتم أنتم متعدين اليوم في مجتمعكم فهي كثير شعرت بالسرور عشان هذا الموضوع، التعليم هو القوة مضبوط؟ فأقول التعليم هو القوة الشيء اللي ما اللي ما بدنا بخلينا أقوى دائما، نتفرج على الأمل دائما بكون أقوى من الأمل بالحياة وفي مستقبل أفضل. ثانك يو شكرا. آية Okay. Aya, ah, yeah. so thank you so much for all the work that you have done in the challenge and all the, the, the hours you spent to do the pinwheels. I uh, would like to invite you to come to Lebanon if you have a chance. Right now we are friends from now onward and we are looking forward to seeing you in the future. Thank you. Shukran. So uh, thanks so much for wrapping that up for us, Aya. Um, and I want to extend a kind of broader thank you to all the panelists, uh, for our audience, people who've been watching live, tuning in. We have people in Maine, Florida, New Jersey, Jordan, Seattle, San Diego, so really uh, all over the country and the world. Uh, and I also want to thank Students Rebuild, the IRC, 
of course, Global Nomads Group, and our challenge participants around the world for joining this important conversation. On behalf of Students Rebuild, we thank all of you for your participation. And remember, you can go to www.studentrebuild.org, that's studentsrebuild.org, to take the challenge uh, to deepen your understanding, to move this conversation forward, and to stay connected to your new friends. Remember to send in and postmark your pinwheels by April 30th. Thanks.